G'day Spuddies, I'm back. I'm out for a ride. There's the scooter. The trusty Noble Steed. I've been going for an hour and 20 minutes now. Probably got another 20 minutes, half an hour until I get home. Uh, I don't really, I just felt like checking in. I haven't, don't really have anything specific I wanted to talk about with you guys today, but it's been a while since I've done a YouTube video, so I just, just felt like checking in. Um, I guess the last time I did a YouTube was when I was attempting to do a hundred days of half an hour of uh, exercise per day and uh, oh, that lasted 12 or 13 days I think and it fell to pieces. Uh, I ended up, I was, I was exercising doing my half an hour at like midnight or 1am and not getting enough sleep. Uh, that little baby was not sleeping well and, and uh, I was ending up getting like three, four hours of sleep a night and it was just not sustainable. So um, so that fell to pieces and uh, I haven't done a lot of training since then. I just uh, learned from that experience that I, sometimes I have to just accept the situation that I'm in and, and uh, not try to go too crazy with trying to, uh, trying to force things to be how I want them to be rather than just accepting the way things are sometimes. Uh, but anyway, that's been a couple of months, maybe, I think a couple of months, a lot's happened since then. I've got a new book out, uh, Spud Fit, a whole food potato based guide to eating and living. Uh, very, very proud of it. Check the link below. I'll put a link um, in the description. Uh, it's got over 100 recipes, over 93 different contributors from, uh, from the whole food plant based world super healthy recipes all potato based not only potatoes but potato based with other ingredients fruits and veggies with them um, and it's there's also a lot of advice from myself and from other notable people so yeah very very proud of it check it out in the link below um yeah what else has been happening i've that's really it <laughs> i've got this book out and it's just consumed my whole year uh, if you want a piece of advice from me about writing a book, that is the best piece of advice. Don't do it on the same year you have a newborn baby. <laughs> That's a bad idea. <laughs> there's, uh, there's not enough hours in the day to get both of those done. Well, apparently there is. I got it done. I don't know how, but yeah, we got it done. My, my, my wife, Mandy, was pretty amazing and incredible, and, uh, and all the other people who contributed recipes to the book as well were pretty good. Um, so what are the plans now? Anyway, so yeah, I've, I've been out scooting, back on the scooter. Um, I have too much to do to be spending time on the scooter, but I'm doing it anyway, and I don't know, other things that need to get done are just not gonna get done. And that's something I have to accept as well. Uh, because sometimes getting exercise is more important than anything else. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now and uh, I'm, I'm working on uh, making it a part of my day, getting back into the habit of exercising every day, not just uh, you know every now and then when I can fit it in. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to try to be more sustainable about my approach this time, but uh, yeah, really try to get back to making it a part of my life now that our little boy is, uh, is sleeping much better. Not perfect still, but much better. And I'm getting more sleep and, uh, you know, things are slowly starting to fall into place. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, I'm probably boring you by now. So there you go. That's my check-in. I hope everyone's well. And I, I hope everyone's eating their potatoes and spudding up. <laughs> Enjoy yourselves.